Caney says in Golf Digest that if you're faced with a difficult bunker shot, especially one where you have a lip to clear, you may want to consider turning away from the flag, away from that lip, and aim for the fat part of the green instead. That's because it's usually a lot easier to get close to the hole on the next shot if it's a long putt, rather than if it's a second shot out of the bunker after you failed to get out the first time. So how do you really know exactly when you're faced with too much of a lip? Well, Haney says it has everything to do with how far up on the bunker wall your ball has stopped. Because if it's pretty low, a little bit of an upslope is actually very helpful to a bunker shot. There, you can still keep your weight forward, but the slight upslope helps you glide that club under the ball, lift it up on a bed of sand, and it lands on the green in a textbook way. However, the more of a slope you're dealing with, the tougher it'll be to keep your weight on your front leg. So Haney says you should think of this as a 60% rule. When you set up to the ball in the sand and you take a practice stroke, if you cannot keep 60% of your weight on your front leg, you should take your medicine, turn around, hit it out onto the fat part of the green, and go on from there. It's not the hero move, but it will definitely look better on your scorecard. <laughs>